Hi y'all, welcome to Crazy Dudes Go Farmer. Morris it's me, Steven. So you know what that means. Another encouragement message from the Lord. <laughs> this message I'm actually going to share today has been on my heart before all the other ones. But I asked the Lord why it took me so long to share this word why why did you put this in my heart but yet you made me wait months months to months to months to share this message God told me when the children of Israel came out of Egypt they did straight away started praising me I had to train them I had to train them how to truly praise you hear the song the song of Miriam and the song of praise of how they left Egypt and everything but they that was a praise, but their mindset was still stuck in the way of Egypt. When, when God pulled the children of Israel out of Egypt, He had to teach them what it meant to be free and what it meant to be His people. Because for 400 years they've been in Egypt, they practiced the way of Egypt, they did the things of Egypt, and they was forced to depend on upon the people of Egypt. And now God pulled them out of Egypt and He said, first of all, you're going to have to learn who I am. I am the Lord thy God. And you should have no other God before me. When God gave them the Ten Commandments, this is why He gave them the Ten Commandments. He gave them as examples, a guide of how to be a free person. God said, I am the Lord thy God, and you should have no other God before me. You, you're not going to make no graven images of me like they, the Egyptians did of their God. I am not their God. I am... I am the one and true God. He said, you will not use my name in vain like they did. And you will not practice the way they did. For 400 years you have worked every single day of your life. Not no more. You're going to take a day of rest and remembrance of me. And it's going to be a day where you celebrate and you worship me. So do you understand why I had to get, do these videos that I did before this? Because today, today, I want to talk about praise. So praise is not what everybody actually consider it to be. Praise is not just when the songs is playing, when the when the praise band is up there and the worship team is up there and you start lifting your hands and you start praising God. That's not what praise is altogether. It is a part of praise, but it's not exactly praise. Praise is something that is sacred between us and God. It is a verbal, it is a action to create into the world of who God is and how great God is. So, Isaiah 25.1 says, O oh Lord, Thou art my God, and I will exalt Thee. I will exalt Thee. Isaiah first said in this verse, he said, You are my Lord, you are my God, and I will exalt Thee. Not because of anything you've done, Lord, but just because of who you are. And then he goes and say, I will praise Thy name, for Thou have done great, wonderful things. I mean... It wasn't, he didn't start praising God and worshiping God because of what he's done, but he started praising and worship God for who he is. Y'all, we're not supposed to just go into church and just start think, saying, Oh Lord, look what you have done this week to me. That's great and wonderful. Yes, give God praise and give God glory for what he's done. But the Bible said we will enter his gates with thanksgiving. And we will enter his courts with praise. It's not something that waits. Again, it's not something that waits till the... So they get up there and they start playing music or they start hitting that one song that you really, really love and you just start, oh Lord, glory to God. That's, that's not what praise alone is. Praise is something sacred between us and God. It's like a kiss. When you, you will kiss your spouse in public. Many, many couples will kiss in public. There's some that don't like kissing in public, but many will because they like showing the world that I love this woman or I love this man. It is a action shown how much you love your spouse. And let me tell you, we are the bride of Christ and we love Christ. And so we're going to proclaim of how great God is and how great His Son is. Y'all, this is what play, praise is. It's something that's supposed to be sacred and personal between us and God. And this is what separates praise from worship. I'm not going to really talk about worship right now. I'm, that's going to be in another video. But this is what separates praise from worship. 
Worship is something that's very, very personal and sacred between us and God. But praise is something that we're open about. Like, look at what God is. It doesn't matter if we're at the store. It doesn't matter if we're on the street. It doesn't matter if we're in the car. We're, we're open to praise God. This is why in the book of Psalms 34, 1 says, I will bless the Lord at all times, and I shall continually, continually be out of my mouth. No stop. No stop. Just like the Bible says, pray without ceasing. Praise without ceasing. Y'all praise God no matter what your situation is. No matter what you're going through today. Maybe the reason you're, going through, you're still going through a storm and you're still going through the situation you're in because you haven't been praising God. Maybe God is waiting for your heart to be ready for Him to work. Maybe He's saying, praise me. And I will come the store. I will open the door if you will praise me. Praise me in this situation. And I will, because I will know if you praise me now, you will praise me later when the, when the storm is calm. Y'all, praise God no matter the situation you're in. Don't wait to get out of Egypt. Praise, start praising God now while you are in Egypt. When you are in the storm. When the, when the boat is walk, rocking and turning and tossing, start praising God because God is there with you and God is God. Glory, hallelujah. I mean, in every situation we're in, we're not supposed to praise God because of our situation. We're not supposed to praise God because I've been blessed. Praise God for whom He is. Y'all, I pray that this video today helps inspire you to start praising God no matter what trials or tribulations you're going through right now. I pray that this video helps you to walk in the, in the path that God has set for you and that your situation will not control the outcome of what's going on in your life. So y'all please, please let us know of how great God has been in your life in the comments below because you never know who's going to come across your comment and it's going to lift them up. As a photographer minister, I post pictures on Facebook and the reason I did that because one time I posted a picture and a friend of mine stopped him from committing suicide. You never know how your comments or anything you do is going to affect somebody. Your praise alone, may say, people may say so there's hope to go on. There's hope to go on. So y'all please leave a comment below. Please. And y'all please like and subscribe and hit that notification bell because every like and every subscriber helps another person to see and hear the word of God. Because this is what this is about. It's not about crazy ladies go farm and more. It's not about my family. It's about the kingdom of God. Please help us reach the lost. Help us reach those and encourage people to go on. So y'all please like and subscribe. And y'all have a great day and have a blessed day in the Lord. And y'all Bye, y'all.